This might just be the world's cleanest piece of heavy equipment. Well, not right now, but when I'm done with it, it sure will be. Hey, what is going on guys? And welcome to something completely out of the ordinary. This is my 2022 Bobcat skid steer that's going to get a full detail butt to bucket. And just before we dive into all this mud, I'll give you a glimpse at what it's been up to lately and how it got this dirty. Now, if you guys know anything about heavy equipment, it usually gets real dirty real quick and Bobby here is no exception. I've put it to work out here in the yard doing all kinds of things from hauling and leveling clay to digging tons of holes for trees, moving mulch around, hauling and dumping rocks, moving boulders, hauling and leveling piles of topsoil, and of course snow removal this past winter. Now while I love to keep all my vehicles and equipment clean, sometimes I'm simply just too busy so Bobby is in desperate need of a good detail, especially the engine which is a disaster after hauling fine clay. So stick around as you're in for a treat with this one. I'm gonna get Bobby here all cleaned up and looking brand new again and show you guys how this thing works along the way. So as always, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now, if you guys remember, it was about a year ago that I cleaned Bobby last. And with that time having been the first time that I'd actually detailed it, you know, I wasn't really sure kind of what the best way to attack it was going to be. The best way to clean around all the different areas around the, the Bobcat here. And, uh, you know, let's be honest, this is a lot different than a passenger vehicle is. So uh, one thing I am going to be doing different than I did last time is I'm actually going to tip the bucket out just a little bit. That way it's not sitting level and hopefully the water will just, you know, kind of run out while I'm spraying in here. Uh, because otherwise, if it pools, I will end up getting sprayed in the face. So, uh, hoping to avoid that this time. All right, well, as I continue to spray out the bucket here, I wanted to let you guys know that I've got a new product announcement coming towards the end of this video. I briefly talked about it a few weeks back and today's the day to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that a little bit later on.
Okay, now that I've got the bucket raised and tilted here, I can get a look at the underside. And of course, it's covered in mud and reclaimed asphalt. Now, the mud was more recent as I was leveling some clay and kept working that day even though it was raining. I really wanted to get the job done, but Mother Nature had other ideas. And then the reclaimed asphalt underneath the mud was from earlier this spring when I was topping up the reclaim out in front of the shop here. All right, well, believe it or not, but that took an entire 30 minutes just to spray the underside of the bucket off. That uh, reclaimed asphalt had basically turned into concrete and it was like glued on. Even the shovel didn't really help too much. Uh, and as you can see, I got a little bit wet. Um, obviously there's a lot of spray back when you're doing that. And there was even times I was trying to do this and just kind of spray and hide myself behind the bucket, but uh, it didn't really help too much. So uh, anyways, whatever, no big deal. Uh, I'm going to hop back in Bobby here and uh, get this bucket back down and take it off so I can clean the rest of it. All right, guys. Well, while I'm in here doing this, I figured I'd just uh, kind of give you a quick rundown of how these controls work. So in this bobcat, there's hand and foot controls. So I got pedals on the left, pedal on the right, and uh, basically uh, the pedals control the bucket. So uh, left foot controls uh, the bucket going up and down. The right foot controls the tilt or the curl of the bucket. And then... Uh, these here are uh, kind of how I go forward, backwards, and, and turn. So we'll get this started up and I'll show you how it works. So I'm using my right foot, heel down to curl the bucket in, left foot, toe down, and the bucket goes down. Left foot heel, bucket goes up, left foot toe goes down, right foot heel, bucket curls in, right foot toe, bucket goes out. It's a very easy system, it's not complicated at all to, uh, to learn on. So just before I can get this bucket taken off, there's, uh, there's some locking pins that, that keep the bucket on, so I have to release those, and that's done right here. Let's see if it's going out.
All right, well, while I continue to work my way around Bobby, I figured this was as good a time as any for the huge announcement that I've been dying to share with you guys. I am starting a third channel, which will have nothing to do with detailing. It's going to focus on the development of my yard out here, and what I plan to create will be nothing short of spectacular, so I know you guys will enjoy it. It's going to be similar to the Studio Build series from the Detail Geek 2, and that you'll get to see the in-depth and behind-the-scenes construction process every step of the way, and I'll be doing some vlogs, and you'll get to see more of my personal life as well. You can check it out right here on YouTube at The Yard Geek, where I've got a little trailer uploaded for now, and more videos coming very soon, so please do me a favor, head over there and subscribe to the channel. There's a link in the description, or just search up The Yard Geek and you'll find me. Okay, now as I finish up with the pre-wash rinse here, I'm going to go ahead and lift the cab this time so I can spray out underneath it as well. And that involves putting jack stands at the back of Bobby, because safety first guys. And then there's two bolts inside the cab, so with those removed, I can just lift the cab up until it locks in place. All right, well, I got everything under there sprayed off really well, but while I've got the cab lifted here, uh, it's actually giving me really good access uh, to the foot wells here. So rather than waiting until I'm working inside the cab a little bit later to clean those, I figure I'm just gonna do it right now. That way I can take the drain plugs out and really just rinse everything out and let it drain through. Um, yeah, that uh, should make things easy. Okay, with the cap bolted back down now, I'll start on the wheels with some of my Detail Geek wheel and tire cleaner. And looking at how brown the cleaner turns should tell you that no, I haven't cleaned Bobby once since last fall. But despite that, I can already tell that he's going to clean up really well and should still look brand new when I'm done.
Now as I start on the hand wash here, I just wanted to point out that the whole exterior detail process is pretty much the same as it would be on any other vehicle. But one thing I'm watching out for with the Bobcat is all the grease that spills out of the hinge and pivot points. The pressure washer can only get so much of it, so I'm making sure to get the rest with my wash mitt. And now here's the very last step of every detail before I put the pressure washer away, and that's to blast my shoes clean. With these being waterproof, it's super easy and allows me to always keep them clean, despite them getting absolutely filthy when I detail. Now just like you guys saw the last time I did Bobby, the engine here is once again filthy and needs to be cleaned. So I'll start by getting some degreaser sprayed on, then I'll agitate with a variety of brushes, rinse it off and then dry everything, leaving it all looking brand new and guaranteed cleaner than every other skid steer in existence. All right guys, well, as you can see, there's really not a lot of room to maneuver around the inside of this Bobcat, so that's definitely gonna make it a lot more challenging on me today. Uh, there's a lot of crevices in here and it's not really a good, comfortable position to sit and work. And it makes it pretty hard to get a kind of a good angle to show you guys what I'm doing as well. But anyways, I'll make it through today and uh, I'm about to go grab the vacuum and my detail brush. And really this, this interior detail is gonna be pretty straightforward vacuum. I'm um, going to use the steamer just to kind of blast all the, the dust out of all the crevices and then that'll pretty well be it and then I'll move back outside. Okay, well while I finish up steaming the inside of the cab, I figured I'd give you a bit more background on Bobby here. So like I mentioned in the opening, it's a 2022 S590 skid steer 
And like you saw, I use it for all kinds of things out here. And quite simply, it's probably the best purchase I've ever made in my life. It's just so incredibly versatile and has saved me countless hours of manual labor. As far as lifting capacity goes, it's rated for 2,000 pounds. And in terms of attachments I've got for it, like you saw, I've got an 18 inch auger that I've been using to dig piles of holes for trees. And then I've also got a set of pallet forks, which are worth every penny I spent on them as I've used them a ton. Now because I like to go over the top and keep my things looking nice, I'm using my ceramic spray coating to protect Bobby's paint and make it shine just a little bit more. Yes, I concede that doing this to a piece of heavy equipment is probably completely unnecessary and crazy, but I like to make things look as perfect as possible. And since Johnny got a full ceramic coating done on him, I don't want Bobby to get jealous. All right guys, well as I finish up cleaning the glass here, it's time for the new product announcement. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's Detail Geek Tire Dressing, which is an expertly formulated water-based tire shine that provides excellent protection for rubber and will leave your tires with a nice deep matte black finish. You can find it on my website at detailgeekautocare.com where worldwide shipping is available. Last step is to grease Bobby and I've upped my grease game a little bit. I bought a Milwaukee grease gun which is super slick and makes this job much easier.
All right guys, well a little over seven hours later and Bobby here is all cleaned up and looking better than ever. And I'm gonna be brutally honest with you guys, it's probably gonna be dirty again pretty soon. Guaranteed in a couple of days from now, it's gonna be back out in the yard, moving dirt, doing something, getting dirty. Um, oh well, such is the life of a piece of heavy equipment. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check me out on all my other social media like Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. Enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe and come along for the ride.